Greetings YouTubers, Logic PQ here, and today we're going to do the Chapter 3 A-Side Golden Strawberry. To get the key for this section, I recommend just doing this. That will help you get the key a lot faster, and you won't have to worry about hitting these spikes up here. For this room, you'll see that there's three floating around. You just want to be careful. Uh, nothing about this is very difficult, but when you get up here, you can kind of just sit here, get over here, wait till it goes around. Get right to here, fall straight down and dash over. You'll get that key. You're gonna need it. Room number nine. So this part's not that hard, but I wanted to show you that there's two ways to do it. So you can either go this way and use this. That's pretty easy, honestly, you shouldn't be messing that up. The other way is to get back to this part and then do a wave dash off of that. A wave dash is when you're in the air and then you dash into the ground and, you, and then you jump right when you hit the ground. If you wait about an eighth of a second after you hit the ground, you'll get your dash back in the air and you'll have an extended wave dash. When you're doing your golden strawberry run, it's really easy to forget little things here and there because sometimes you die really late in the run and you want to just get back there and have another good attempt at it. However, you want to make sure you don't forget those easy things. So for this part, you want to make sure you save your dash to here, so you get to here. It's really easy to make that mistake. I've done that mistake many times, so you just want to make sure you don't mess that up. On this part, you have the two moving springs. You just want to make sure you're careful here. Jump on that spring first, land right here. Land on this one. Go up here last. Then dash into this wall and just climb up. Should be pretty free. Uh, note that you can't walk on the same parts that you already walked on for those little ledges because it forms like the little dust uh, that kills you. It's really easy to try to rush these A-side golden strawberries and become very frustrated very quickly because the levels aren't exactly exciting to do. Now that you have completed most of the game, you've done so many harder things, this is like a cakewalk. So just take your time. So for this room, after you get the key right below me, you're going to have to cross this gap. Now be careful, if you jump and dash, you actually might hit that, because you might not even notice it's there when you do this. You just make sure you dash straight across, you don't need to jump at all. It's just a free dash. Now that you've unlocked that door, you want to get to right here. You just jump over, do the same thing, refresh your stamina if you need to, and you're good to go. After talking to Mr. Oshiro, there are three ways to go to clean up the clutter in this room. You can go above me here, to the right here, or you can go down here. This is where you find the Pico 8, so that's not one of the areas that we're gonna go to. The reason I'm telling you that there's three different rooms is because the order that you do these rooms in determines how difficult they will be. Whatever room you do first, that one will be easiest. Whatever room you do last, that one will be harder. The room I recommend you go to first is the room to my right. This one right here, where you see Theo tugging on the door. Once you get to this room, you'll see that there are a bunch of dust bunnies going up and down, sideways. You want to wait until you get that opportunity. Was This dust bunny was down, and this one was moving this way. So you get that cycle if you just wait here long enough, so just be patient. And once you're here, you can just stand on this box. This is great, so now you just gotta wait for the opening. You'll see that there's an opening where they're both on the bottom, and it happens every now and then, like right now. And here. So you just wait for that and then you go, okay? Because you went here first, you can just sit on this luggage and it gives you a little bit of a reprieve here. So you can just do that. Then once you get here, you have one hard jump that you need to achieve. And that's it. You just want to make sure you time your dash. Because we went here first, you have this luggage here. It makes this part so much easier. You just fall straight down when you have the opportunity. After talking to Mr. Oshiro for the second time, you're going to want to go to the bottom section down here. Because we went here second, you'll have less luggage to stand on when you're trying to do this. However, this room is pretty easy. You just got to be careful when you're jumping around here. So for this room, you can see it's just timing based. The dust bunnies are moving on a beat. You just got to stay to that beat. You can use your dash to get across that section pretty easily. 
and then you can use your dash to get over here. You just want to time your approach here. So you can see there's no safe spot to stand here or here on these, and there's no safe spot over here. So what we want to do is we want to fast fall through all these before they go again. There's a very particular timing for this. You basically just want to see as soon as they start going, you jump. And then you fast fall. If you fast fall correctly, you'll get through it just fine, and that'll work every single time that you do this. This room's not too bad. You just gotta be careful with your timing. Find your opening and get through it. They give you enough of those recharges that you can kind of mess up a little bit and still be okay. This room's actually quite a bit harder because there's no luggage in the middle anymore because you did this room second. What you wanna do is you just wanna jump up to here and keep on resetting the height of this. You can actually get two jumps in between each cycle of the dust bunny. So you can keep on resetting the height. And you just go when you feel comfortable. You can do the same thing up here. You'll need to be as high as possible on that jump because that's a pretty far jump there. After talking with Mr. Oshiro the third time, we go to the final section for the cleanup. It's up here. For this section, you'll see that you have some luggage to stand on here. You'll, you wanna, you'll wanna use that. And you'll notice that all of these meet in the middle at some point. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. When this one starts moving towards the middle, I'm gonna get down here and then jump in here and get out as quickly as I can because this one's moving pretty quickly. So you'll see the opportunities right there. You'll dash up here because these will be in the middle and you'll fast fall down to get here as quickly as possible. Then the, when you do that fast fall, these will be in the middle. You'll be here, you'll jump over, and then you'll walk, you'll walk past, jump through again, and there'll be an open spot right here or here, so you can dash up if you like, and you'll be good. You'll want to be fast in the middle again, just because this dust bunny is moving so quickly. When those go down, you go. Once you get up to here, you'll see that you'll have to dodge this one, because you can just jump down to here and time your dash diagonally upright. If you do it correctly, you'll want to jump when this one is starting to move down here. Once you get down here, you can't walk backwards. You'll also notice that these are both on the walls. There's two methods to getting through this part. The first one I'd recommend using is a wall boost. You'll want to line yourself up with that wall on the left. You wait till that dust bunny goes up, and then you just do a wall boost to get up here. The other way I recommend you do this is you wait for the dust bunny on the left side to go up, and then you just wall jump through. Either way works fine, whatever you feel more comfortable doing. And the final room for the last cleanup section, you want to dash to this wall. You want to get down as low as you can, so make sure you can, make sure you save the dust on the wall for that, which means you want to get there last. You're going to want to jump here and dash to this. Get up to here. And then you want to dash and grab this luggage. And then you just fall diagonally to the right there. And then time your jump here. Make sure you don't hit your head on these dust bunnies. Fall down to around here and then jump across. If you jump too high, you'll bonk your head right here and you'll die and you'll have to start all over again. So as a benchmark, you should almost always be getting to this part. Every single run. So if you just take the first parts patiently, you should be getting here. The way I would do this room is just how you see right here. Diagonal dash up here, jump, then dash straight up, then jump over and dash diagonal left. That works for both of those middle sections. You can do the exact same thing. This room, you really just want to keep on moving. This part right here, when I dash up, I land in the middle of the platform because then I can run to the left and do the same thing. If I land on the edge of the platform, and then I try to run to the right, I can't run to the left anymore because of the dust that forms behind me, and that'll kill you if you walk over it again. Right there, I like to dash straight. I don't think it's a big deal. You just do that. For this section, you wanna make sure you get under that dust bunny that I'm current, this dust bunny on this wall to my left. You wanna make sure you go under it when you dash to that wall, and then bounce to the other wall to dodge it. For this section, you'll see that there's the dust bunny below me going very quickly, but it has a long pause in between each, each of its movements. When, it's on the, when the dust bunny is on the left side, about a half second before it moves, you want to start falling. Then you'll get on that side of it and you'll be all good. Now you can just crawl up past these ones pretty easily, you get up to here. 
Fast fall past those ones, and you're good. You'll need a key now. You see how they're moving left to right, those dust bunnies over there? You get on this platform, and you can jump up and down on it forever to make it never hit the dust below you, so you won't die. You just wait till they start moving left, and then you go. And you can still do the same thing down here, you just gotta do really small jumps. I would definitely practice this. And then you wait for that one to go to the left, and you go. You saw right there, I went when this was down. So I jumped, and it was down, and then it went up, and then I was falling, and then I dashed up into the left. You wait for that moment, and you go. Right here, you can do the jump thing. I like to let it fall a little bit, because the gap is around this height where you're jumping. I would go when it goes up. It gives you a little bit more time. And then you just do this section. So this section, you're just jumping and dashing up into the left. Really, for this section right behind me, you can just hold up into the left and dash when you need to. Time to get chased by Oshira. For this section, you can't walk backwards on, you see, so just, you shouldn't be moving backwards anyways. I would go under that dust bunny, because it's just safer. Make sure you're paying attention to where Oshiro's at. And move as you need to, right there. Honestly, a lot of these sections are not too bad. You just gotta be careful of Oshiro, so make sure you're setting yourself up well. You can always just jump over him if you think you need to wait. That's how I would do that section. I would use the spring, dash up into the right and grab that. Then I would go up here and dash straight through that. Grab this one. And then once you get to here, you want to dash up into the right. Make sure you're dodging Oshiro as you go. Grab that one, and then grab this one. Then you're good. Keep in mind that you can't move up and down on these walls once you've already climbed on them. Just take your time and dodge Oshiro. Alright, this is the first room where it's pretty difficult. You want to land on that little platform I was just on to dodge him. Wait right there. Jump on the, the spring when he's coming to get you. Same right here. Hurt too many times. I was going too fast, and I forgot that if you dash here, and you don't dash far enough, you can't make it here. You need to save your dash for this part. So don't try to dodge Mr. Oshiro by dashing up into the right. I did that twice on my runs. It's just not what, it's not going to work. What you want to do is you want to dodge him here, and then go. So you save your dash so you can just dash through this part. For this part, you just want to run. Two straights, up into the right, two straights. That works every time. This last room, you can really just take it very patiently. Because you have so much room and opportunity to like wait for him to go, and, and then you go. Like right here, I, just, I can just sit. And then I can decide to go whenever I want. That's how you do it. So now that I've shown you all of the sections for the Chapter 3 A side, let's try to get that golden strawberry. Before I show you the final run, I wanted to show you that I died not that many times getting this golden strawberry. It was actually 17, and that was it. It's just kind of a small number of deaths to have for getting a golden strawberry. But the thing to keep in mind here is that the time it took to get those 17 deaths was around an hour and a half. To me, that is even more frustrating than doing a really tough level like the Chapter 3 B-side, making it 70% of the way through, but that's only like three or four minutes in at the most. When I'm dying five to eight minutes in, it's it hurts so much more because I felt like I invested so much into that run, even if it wasn't as difficult. One thing I want you to take away from these deaths is that if you feel like you're getting frustrated like I was, just take a break. Anyways, after all the failure, I finally got the run I wanted.
Oh my gosh. Good job. Good job, everyone. We did it. What a mean boy. Breaking that bridge on us, trying to kill me. After all the work I just did on him, I didn't even... I just danced all over his little hotel right there, cleaned it all up for him. Feels bad, man. But feels really good, because I just got that golden strawberry. If you thought that the strategies I used throughout this video were good, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and like the video. That helps a lot. On Thursday, I'll be releasing the 6A golden strawberry, so you can look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.